video editing on the iPad Pro has always been a bit of an obsession of mine and a goal of mine to actually be able to replace my laptop completely and do all my video editing on the iPad Pro. I've literally tried all the big name apps for video editing within the App Store itself and this is by far the best one that I've found. And I've done numerous videos on all the other ones if you want to check it out. I'll try and throw a YouTube card up there so you can do it. But the problem is with these apps, I could never accomplish what I want to do with just one app. I find myself having to use two to three different video editing apps just to get the effects that I want. So the one I want to tell you about today is called Luma Fusion. And oddly enough, I found out about this because someone left a comment in one of my other app videos said, hey, you should check this out. So it is an expensive app. It's 30 bucks. That's what I paid for it. And that was on a sale. So I'm honestly don't know exactly what it goes for right now, but let's check it out. So out of all the video editing apps that I have tried thus far, this one is definitely the most expensive. Like I said, I paid 30 bucks for it, but along with this being the most expensive, it is currently the best that I've tried so far. It's very smooth, it's fast, and it lets me edit raw 4K video from my Panasonic G7. Now this app is really feature loaded. It's got a ton of different stuff you can do. There are only two features that I've actually noticed that you cannot do with this or appear to be missing with the app. Now this doesn't mean that they're not there. Maybe I haven't found them, but I'm pretty sure they're not. The first is the ability to sync separate audio sources. What I mean by that is a lot of people like to shoot with a camera and of course that's got this built in microphone, but they like to capture the audio on a separate device like the Zoom H1. Zoom H1, Zoom, Zoom, anyway. But my point is with using professional software like Adobe Premiere Pro, um, you can actually merge two audio sources with just a touch of a button. It's fairly simple, fairly straightforward. But with this app, I don't see that feature. It would be awesome if the developers are watching this, that they would add those features. But the second one is actually, for those of you who like to shoot with the green screen as a background, I didn't see anything in there as far as doing any kind of green screen effects so far within the app. Maybe that'll come in a future update, or maybe again, I'm just not seeing it. If the developer is watching this, hey, drop a comment down below and let us know. <clears throat> so this video, again, is not meant to be a tutorial. I just wanna show you some of the key features. And starting off first, let's take a look at the interface. It is a fairly simple and intuitive one once you play around with it. So, if you buy this, obviously I recommend you play around with it so you can kind of learn the app. But within this, you've got the ability to import media files from either the Photos app on your device or download from a variety of cloud services such as OneDrive. Unfortunately, you're not able to add videos using a wired connection by using iTunes. I tried this. Now this is something you can do with the iMovie app for iOS but it has not been built into this app yet. But something you can do is use the camera connection kit to the lightning adapter. And with this, you can use a variety of different USB card readers and just pull the files directly from your SD card. Now, the ones that I have don't work because I keep getting a message saying it's not enough power to power it. But something that does work for me is I just use the included cable that came with my G7 plug it into here with the other end being in my camera and I can import all the footage that I took from my camera using a wired connection. Like I said, the alternative is having to take your SD card out of your camera, connect it to your computer, upload the files to a cloud service, whether it be OneDrive or Google Drive, and then when you open the app, you have to download those from the internet again. So you gotta upload and download, and if you're shooting 4K video, those files can easily exceed over a gigabyte. So it's kind of a slower, tedious method, whereas if you could use this and just use a wired connection, it is way faster to get the footage from your camera to your iPad. And the benefit is I can put this in my backpack and I don't have to worry about bringing my computer 
just to import the files to my iPad. So it's way more convenient and you can completely cut out the use of having to use a computer as the middleman. So once you get the video you want imported, you've got tons of options from adding royalty-free music to adding various transitions and other cool effects. You can do picture in picture, you can add titles. I mean, really your imagination is the limit. This app pretty much does it all. But the most favorite feature that I've found so far is what the app calls fit and frame. But this is basically using keyframing to do panning or if you want to zoom in, zoom out, it essentially simulates using like a slider. So if you want to get a shot on a certain object and you want to do that, where it looks like it's panning across it, you can do that with the software and it works really well. So instead of buying an expensive full slider, you can just use the app to simulate that effect. So it's really nice, really clean, and it works really well. So as you probably noticed, I mean, I've only literally just scratched the surface of what can be done with this app, but I highly recommend you pay the money and try it out. And if the developer is watching, I mean, hopefully you can include maybe a one day, two day free trial so folks can actually try this app and see if they want to purchase it. Because I guarantee if you try this, you're going to want this app. And I know a lot of you guys are going to whine and say, 30 bucks, that's ridiculous. But to put it in perspective, if you buy Final Cut Pro, that's going to cost you $300. Or if you get a Premiere Pro CC subscription, you've got to pay for that every month essentially forever. So this you pay one time and if it has the ability to replace either of those apps for you, it is definitely worth the investment. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comments below. Like I said, I do plan on trying to do some separate tutorials on this app. This was just a overview so I can say, hey, this is a good app. I like it. You should try it. So if you have not subscribed, why don't you go ahead and help me out by hitting that red button. The more subscribers I get, the more content I create, and the more stuff I can get to review. So as always, thanks for watching.